Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Math with Miss Mingus. Um, this is for the week of April 13th through the 17th. I hope you all had a nice spring break, getting your week off of doing school online, and hopefully you got to hang out with your family and do lots of fun stuff. Um, so this week we're going to do two math videos. The first one, what we're going to do now, we're going to work on decomposing numbers and working with number bonds. And then in the next video, we'll kind of focus on fluency with addition and subtraction and doing both of those. Okay. Um, you all have been doing an awesome job sharing all your math work with me on Class Dojo. I love seeing how you make them your own and you made word problems last time using objects in your house. It was so cool for me to see. So please, please, please keep sending videos and pictures. I love to see them. All right, so we're gonna start with decomposing numbers up to 10, okay? So when we do that, we're taking one whole number and breaking it into two parts, okay? We've done this a little bit before. So in this video we're gonna watch, it's Jack Hartman. He's gonna tell us how to decompose the number five, okay? Then we are gonna work on in our video doing the number six, and your assignment at the very end is gonna be doing it for the number seven, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Number bombs, number bombs, that make five. I know my number bombs, they help my math stay strong. Two parts make a whole, let's move and sing along. Right arm up for the one part, left arm up for the other part, both arms up for the whole. All right, so do it with me. I'm going to do it too with Jack Hartman. Let's go! Zero plus five makes five. One plus four makes five. Two plus three makes five. Three plus two makes five. Four plus one makes five. Five plus zero makes five. Those are the number bonds, number bonds that make five. Zero plus five makes five. One plus four makes five. Two plus three makes five. Three plus two makes five. Four plus one makes five. Five plus zero makes five. Those are the number bonds, number bonds that make five. I know my number bonds, they help my math stay strong. Two parts make a whole, let's move and sing along. Number bonds, number bonds, number bonds. Good job, guys. Let's be friends. All right, so let's get back to our stuff here. Okay, so in that video, he was showing you a number bond. So at the top, there was, well, let's do this first. So at the top, there was one circle, which was the whole, right? And then he broke it into two different parts, okay? So that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's look at our learning target. We, help me read this, we can decompose numbers less than or equal to 10 in more than one way. So if you noticed in that video with Jack Hartman, there wasn't just one way that he found to make five. He didn't just do four plus one and say, oh, that's it, did he? No, he found all the different ways that he could make five. So we are gonna do the same thing today, okay? Because there's always more than one way. So this is what our number bond looks like, okay? We have one number at the top here, and that's what we call our whole. Can you say whole for me? Good job. So our whole is the number at the top. So the whole for the video with Jack Hartman was five. Okay, and then he was trying to find all the ways to make five. So then down here, we have one part and two parts. We saw in that video lots of different ways to make five, but one way he did it was one plus four. 
So we would have a 1 here, a 4 here, and a 5 would be your whole. Okay, so part plus the part equals your whole. Okay, and we did that a little bit last week too, so it should be a little familiar to you. So we're going to practice working on number bonds for the number 6, okay? And the way that Jack Hartman did it in the video, he used the circles, and you are more than welcome to do it that way too. But I wanted to show you what it would look like with a picture of how you would break it up, okay? So I have six circles here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And I have some of my circles colored yellow, and some of them are colored red. Okay, now they all add up to six. I'm not going to have an answer that's bigger than six. And six is always going to be my answer. Okay, so that would mean six is our whole. Okay, the yellow circles are part one and the red circles are part two. When we add them together, we get six. Okay, so for this picture right here, what do you think our part one would be? Part one, remember, is yellow. So what would part one be? It should be one, you're right. One plus, now we have to count the red to figure out what part two is. One, two, three, four, five. So one plus five equals six, is that correct? Let's check it. One plus five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one plus five does equal six. Let's see if we see that equation. There we go. So every time we do a picture to show a number bond, we can also write an equation. So this equation matches my picture. One, there's one yellow, plus five, five red, equals six all together, okay? Next. Now remember, for these, our whole is always gonna be six. That is not changing. Okay, the only thing that's changing is part one and part two. So for this one, what would part one be? How many yellow do we see? One, two. So two plus how many red? One, two, three, four. Two plus four equals what? Six, that's right. Two yellow plus four red equals six circles all together. Now this one's a little bit different. Okay, so our whole is still six. We're gonna do part one and part two. So part one, remember, is yellow. So the part one, the yellow, would be three, right? Just count to make sure, one, two, three. So three plus, the red is also three, equals six. We can check it on our fingers, three and three. You can break it up just like it is up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three equals six. Okay, our next one. Now, I'm going to write this one on my board just to try and make sure we have it correct. So for this one, how many yellow do you see? That's right, there are four. So the first number in my problem is going to be four. Here's my four. You can write this down with me too. So four plus, who can tell me how many red you see? One, two equals, how many all together? What's our whole for each problem? Six. Here's what I have. Four plus two equals six. And that matches our equation right here, which means we are correct. Okay, next. Now, I definitely have more yellow than red. I could tell that just by looking at it. So let's see what we have. Let's count the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. So five yellow, five is our part one. Five plus, how many red? Just one, that's right. Equals six. 
Here's my problem. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Matches on there. We're good to go. Ooh, look at this one. This one is interesting. How is this one different than the other problems that we've seen? It doesn't have any red, does it? Okay, so we're just going to count the yellow, and yellow is still going to be our part one. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to start my problem with six. Six plus. Hmm. My red is normally part two. Do we have any red? We do not. That means we're doing six plus zero equals our whole, which is six. Six plus zero equals six. Matches here. Okay, now remember yellow is part one, red is part two. So for the first part, part one, do you see any yellow circles here? No, we don't. So our part one is actually going to be zero plus the red circles. Now the red circles are part two. So let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zero plus six equals six altogether. That's right. Zero plus six equals six. There we go. Good job, guys. Okay. So we went through all the ways to make number bonds for six, right? Now you could switch it around if you wanted to start with your red circles being part one and yellow being part two, and you would have a lot more different ways to make it, okay? So now it's gonna be your turn, okay? So I would like you to get a piece of paper out and draw seven circles. So I'm gonna do this on my board just so I can kind of show you what you're doing. We've done the number bonds for six. Now it's your job to do the number bonds for seven, okay? Okay, so I have seven circles here. You can color in any number of circles to create an equation that equals seven. So here's my example down here. So I did seven circles, okay? I colored two of them yellow. So my part one was two plus, how many did I color red? One, two, three, four, five, and it equals seven altogether. So then I wrote my equation. Two plus five equals seven, okay? But you're not done there because I want to see all the different ways you can add two numbers together to make seven. Okay, so let me show you on my board here. I've gotten a few different lines here with seven circles on each one. So now I'm going to color in some of them, and some of them I'm going to leave blank. So let's look at my first one here. Let's get this colored in. So for this one, if you're looking at my board with me, how many circles do you see colored in? We have one, two, three, four. So my part one is gonna be four, and I just write it right underneath it. Plus, then I have to count the circles that are not colored in. I see one, two, three, four plus three equals seven altogether. Now on my next one, I wanna do this a different way. So I already did four and three. Now I wanna do something different. How about we do now I've got one, two, three, four, five colored plus two that are not colored equals seven. Okay, and then I'll show you one more here. On the bottom, I did one plus six equals seven. Okay, so Ms. Mingus has already shown you three different ways that you can add things together to make seven. 
Now I would like you to go get a piece of paper, just like this, any paper that you have, draw your seven circles, color in however many you want, and write your equation. But remember, there's not just one way. There's lots of ways to make seven, okay? So I want you to see if you can figure out all the ways to make seven. All right? Okay, I'll see you all next time.